Hello, welcome to Woodland Tracking. It's a funny, a beautiful day in Ohio. We thank God for that. Remember, give praise to God in all that you do. You know, guys, it's the beginning of something or the end of something. I don't know what, but America here, we're at a big crossroad. Somebody's trying to divide and conquer us. And we've done a good job allowing them to do it. I mean, this video is mostly intended to for Christian men, Christian warrior men. If you're not one, you can turn it off now, but that's basically how I'm going to be referring to this whole video over. Um, but we are so divided. Right now, as a country, it's really sickening when we all should be Americans and stand for the Constitution, stand for your beliefs, have honor. But, you know, we've done some, we've done some horrible things, you know. You see it all through society, you know. This says that uh, George is being killed up there by that police officer choking him out with his knee. That was horrible. Um, you know, and the riots after that are horrible. Why, I'm not, the riots and burning places down is just horrible. Why would we even consider that this is what we need to do? Because we have no honor and we're not good Christians. And the pastors and the church and everything is to blame. We're, we're, we're all to blame for this. I mean, let's just face it. The church messages has been watered down. Uh, we don't teach. We don't teach strong, rock hard values. You know, it's this. What feels good, man. You know, and the church has become a business. You know, it's just horrible. We really need to reform the church and unite under the Constitution for the savior of our country. Because if we don't, wood or fragment, crumble, whatever, and it's on our doorstep, guys. It's not going to get any easier here they are trying to get Trump out of power and then do whatever means is necessary to do that. So, we are all Christian warriors, men, need to become spirit-filled. You need to get back to your roots. You need to get back to your Bibles. You need to get back to honor and mores. You got to stand for something or you fall for anything. Remember that song? That's a great song, but that's the truth. We fall for a lot because we don't stand for what our beliefs are. We need men with bars. We've been deballed the last 10 or 15 years and it just makes me sick. I mean, you don't know how many times guys are like, oh, I'll be there for training, I'll be there for training. Never show up. I have a million excuses why, or this or that. Or, I'll come work out, I'll come work out. Never show up. Or I'll come to the Bible study, I'll come to the Bible study. And they don't come. They always have a million excuses why, but those are the kind of things that makes a man a man. You know, when you say you're going to do it, and you're committed because you believe in this, you need to do it. Because the lack of men with balls is the reason we're in all this mess. Just imagine if one of them officers up there, when George got killed, had a set of balls and was spirit filled, he would have stopped the whole thing and none of this would have happened. But, you know, it's hard to do the right thing. It's easy to do the wrong thing or go along with the crowd. So, you know, I urged the police, everybody's watching you guys right now, you guys got a tough job. Now, I support police, I've trained with many good officers, you know, there's always bad appers, but you know, there's plenty of good guys out there too, but I urge all you guys to get spirit filled Remember the oath that you took. Remember the oath that you took. And that goes for all of us that have took an oath. Remember the oath that we all have took, if you've took an oath. And I gain, I, I'm willing to bet you the oath that you took probably had something to do with upholding the Constitution, state or federal Constitution, to remember what you swore you would do. So, I mean, guys, I would get ready. I'll get spirit, spirit filled. Turn your life over to God. Have no fear. Be men of action. We another song. We need a little less talk, a lot more action right now. You know, God will lead us through this. You know, it's not going to be the government or this or that. It's going to be between you and God. 
and it's up to you to protect yourself. Look at all the chaos going on here. So I urge you all to get spirit filled, get trained up, and be ready to do, and be men of action. Grow some bars. So remember, time may go on, but your life may not.